be in the house, I welcome you on Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, FM TV Live, wherever you are watching from, we're glad you're on. If you're watching on YouTube, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on your notification button uh, so that every time we come on, you can be notified. And be rest assured that every time we come on, God will turn on a blessing in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are watching on fmtvlive.com, our 24 hours, seven days a week, Faith and Miracle TV Network, we encourage you to keep watching. And in case you are not aware, we have a 24 hours, seven days a week, Faith and Miracle TV Network. It's called fmtvlive.com. Go and watch it and you'll be blessed. You can also watch all our services on demand at faithandmiracles.tv. And if you are watching us also on Roku, we are glad you are on the big screen. God bless you. If you are watching on Facebook, please share this broadcast and invite somebody to watch with you because I have a word that I believe will change your life and uh, color your day and your week. Amen. Amen. Are you excited? Yes. God has a word for us today. We're going to look into God's word. We're excited about this month. It's very prophetic. It's profound. It's our month of exhilarating the joy of positive development. Amen. Can I hear you say that? Exhilarating. Exhilarating. The joy, the joy of positive development. Of positive development. All right, say one more time joyfully. Say exhilarating. exhilarating. <laughs> the, joy the joy of positive development. Of positive development. All right, so what does that mean and what is God's plan for us here? That's what we're going to look at and um, we're going to you know, go as the Lord enable us to go. Amen? The good news is that God wants us to develop. God wants to develop uh, our careers, our businesses, our dreams, desires. God wants your, uh, want you to be promoted on your job. That's also development. God wants our health to improve. Yeah. Hallelujah. God wants you to be healthier than you currently are. Yeah. God wants to you know, grow your wealth. He wants your wealth to grow yeah. so that you can be richer and more blessed materially than you currently are and you will be in the name of Jesus God also wants our relationships to develop he wants to bring us into some good and vital important uh, connections powerful relationships can I hear amen? amen so things are going to be better that's the plan of God for every one of us amen. that's the prophetic agenda of God and it will happen for you all these plans of God and purpose of God become a living reality in every life. Amen. Hearing the sound of my voice amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. And if your amen is louder, you'll be the first to be testifying. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. But you see, what the reality, or amazingly, in spite of all these amazing plans of God for our lives, we also notice that we have oppositions adversities, challenges, hardship that come to fight the plan of God for our life to keep us stranded, to draw us back, to hold us down from attaining to the plan of God. But that devil is a liar. Amen. The plan of God will come to pass. Amen. So that's where the prophetic word for this uh, month comes to play, exhilarating the joy of positive development. When I know God's plan and I begin to face uh, adversities, experience hardship, encounter difficulties, I have obstacles on my path. It seems as if I'm held back. What do I do to overcome all this uh, resistance? How can I keep going until I see the fulfillment of God's plan for my life? you need to be filled with the joy of the Lord. Amen. The joy of the Lord is the secret for your continuous success in spite of all the oppositions, the hindrances, the obstacles that is on our way. That's why God gave us this prophetic word, exhilarating the joy of positive development. That means stimulate the joy of the promises of God. You know, invigorate, stir up that joy in your spirit. No matter what you see, you see the prophetic word of God that God gives to us is given for, as a tool for warfare. The prophetic word, God send, you know, 
uh, declares the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel will stand, I will do all my good pleasure. So the prophetic word, those words that God sent before they come to pass, is what we call the prophetic counsel or the prophetic word or prophetic promise of God for our lives. And God gave us those prophetic words, not just to excite us, but to be the tool for our uh, warfare, our spiritual warfare. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse number 18, it says, Son Timothy, this charge I commit unto you according to the prophecies that went on before thee, that by them you may war a good warfare. You fight your warfare with the prophetic word of God. Hello, somebody. We fight the opposition with the prophetic word of God. The word of God we heard in the church is powerful. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is like a hammer. The word of God is like fire. The word of God can make things to happen. So when God has given us his prophetic word, we use it not for decoration, but as a tool for our warfare. Amen. This charge I commit unto this son Timothy, according to the prophecies that went on before thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Amen. A good warfare is a warfare that you know you have been promised you are going to win. Amen. Can I hear your Amen. amen. And in the name of Jesus, you will win in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That means you're going to have that development plan of God. You're going to see the, the promise of God fulfilled. Your health is going to develop. You're going to become more healthier than you currently are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're going to live and not die. You're going to fulfill your years in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're going to rise to a new level. You're going to see that promotion come to pass. God is going to bring vital, uh, important relationships into your life, vital connections. The, the person of your dream will come. Your helper will locate you. Things are going to happen. That door will open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So the next verse says, holding faith. You stand and hold on to the faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is confidence in God's promise. Yes. Faith is confidence that what God promised will happen. Yes. So you hold faith. You know that God cannot lie. His promise will come to pass. Amen. His word will stand forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Numbers 23 and verse number 19. He said, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it, and shall he not make it good? Yes, has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So you hold on to your faith and say, look, God will make this word good in my life. He will make it good. So you are, in spite of the obstacles, the challenges, the difficulties, the opposition, you are filled with joy. You say, God will make it good for me. Can I hear you say, somebody say, God will make it good for me. So you hold on to faith. You hold on to faith. The Bible says in Mark 13, 31, heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one jot or dot of God's word can fail. So you hold on to faith that the word of God will never fail in your life. Hallelujah. Yeah, not one word of God will fail or pass away. It will come to pass for you. So I say it will come to pass for me. So you are holding on to joy that it will come to pass. You hold on to faith in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Is you, you say, I know that God watches over his word to perform it. There shall be a performance. My God is a performer. He will perform his promises. He will perform my desire. So you stay joyful. You hold on to faith. You stand your ground. You stand on the promises of God. 
Can I hear you? Amen. You stand and hold on to faith, knowing that according to God's word in Psalm 119, verse 85, forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. Somebody say, it is settled. You say, this is a done deal. It is settled. So you are filled with joy, knowing that God's word is settled in my life. And it will be settled, Psalm 119, verse 85. 89, I beg your pardon. It is settled and it will be settled in all our lives. All right. You hold on to faith. You know, according to Isaiah 55, from verse 10 to, to 11, it says, As the uh, rain cometh down from heaven and the snow from heaven and watereth the earth and returneth not either, so shall this word be that goeth forth out of his mouth. It will not return to God void. It will prosper in the thing where to he has sent it. It will accomplish the purpose. So you hold on to faith and stay joyful. Hallelujah. That God will make his word good. The word of God will not return to him void. It will accomplish what God has proposed. Can I hear your amen? It will prosper in the thing where to God has sent it. You fight with joy, not sorrowful. Hallelujah. You fight knowing that this is the prophetic counsel. So you stay joyful. You know that, you know, it's very interesting. It, you know, you can be watching movie <laughs> and say, look, I, I just want to see how God is going to, you know, work this thing out. It might not look like it's going to work out, but he says his word will never return to him void. So I want to see because this God is a God of wonder. I want to see the movie how he's going to work it out. You don't, have to, you don't have to be stressful. You don't have to be stressed, discouraged, down, you know, while God is working. You, you, you stay joyful. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? While God is doing the work. Hallelujah. You stay joyful while you, while you allow God to work. The Bible says in Isaiah 14, 27, you hold on to the prophecy. The word of God says, God said, as I have taught, so shall he stand. As I have proposed, so shall he come to pass. So the thoughts of God for me, he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts of God are this prophetic counsel of God for my life. You hold on to that. Look, the thought of God will stand. The thought of God as the, you know, uh, is, where are we now? Yeah, 27, for the Lord of hosts has proposed, who shall disannul it? He, he, he has what? Stretch out his and we shall turn him back. That's 27, 24 says, as I have taught, so shall he come to pass. As I have proposed, so, so shall he stand. So you hold on to these promises of God and know that it will surely come to pass in your life. Amen. So you stay joyful while God is walking. Amen. Hallelujah. You are not stressed. You are joyful while you know God is walking. God's work is usually done behind the scene. <laughs> it's usually done in the secret. You don't, most of the time God is walking, you don't see him walking. You might not feel him walking, but you know he's walking. So you don't stress yourself while God is walking. No, you stay joyful while God is walking. When you take your car to the shop and they're fixing it, do you stress while the mechanic is walking? Do you know what the mechanic is doing? You don't know what the mechanic is doing. You just stay relaxed. Hallelujah. Yeah, you stay relaxed. He's walking. But you can't be stressed and say, oh, I'm not sure this person can make it done. That's why you went there because you trusted the, the person. That's why you trust in God. That God, this is the word of God, the Bible says, it has been proven. It has been tried through fire. <laughs> Psalm 12 verse 6. It says, for the word of the Lord, a pure word, a silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. It has been tried, tested, you know, confirmed. It does not fail. And it will not fail in my life. It will not fail in your life. It will not fail in your concerning you. You're going to, be, you're going to develop. Someone say, I'm going to develop. Yeah, you're going to develop. You're going to, your career is going to develop. Your business is going to develop. Your health is going to develop. Hallelujah. Yeah, your dreams are going to come to pass. You're going to see that important, vital connections in your life being established. So you stand in joy. You see, the Bible says the trial of our faith is like, uh, a, it's like the trial of gold. 
you know because when you are standing on the word of god it it will be tried it will be tested it will be contested but it will stand Amen. yeah first peter chapter 1 verse 7 and 9 it says, look at this scripture here very insightful i love to i want to teach us some things by the spirit of god here and preach as we go on it says the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. Sometimes you're going to feel the heat. You're going to see some. You're going to have some hurt, some pain, disappointment. But it's the Bible is saying it's the trial of your faith. But the scripture is also saying that let it be found unto what praise that it might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. When your faith is being tried, when my faith is being tried, let when God will appear, let him find you not down, beaten, discouraged, bogged down, but find you praising God, Amen. praising him, knowing that you, you can tell that this your God is faithful. This your God is reliable. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are praising God while you are going through the trial. Amen. Yeah, let because you can't be praiseful except you are joyful. Yes, yeah. A joyless person is a praiseless person. One of the reasons one of the ways you're going to know that somebody has lost his joy is that there will not be anything praiseful yes. coming out of the person. It will be murmuring, it will be complaining. Hallelujah, it will be discouragement. If you tell the person, say, sing, say, for what? <laughs> About what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hallelujah. You know that joy is, is not there. Remember the children, the, the three Hebrew boys, the Bible says, while they threatened to put them into the furnace, and they said, hit the furnace seven times hotter, the guy still I believe they were praising God because they said our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from this fiery furnace, from this threat, this opposition, this pain, this you know attempt to you know uh, crush our spirit. Our God is able to deliver us. But we can also have good news for you. Even if it doesn't deliver us, it doesn't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> we are committed to him yeah. you see those are those are praiseful people that's the kind of thing that you got to say look well i'm waiting on the promise of god i'm waiting on the plan of god for my life it's going to happen you might not think it's going to happen but i know that my god does not disappoint i know that it's going to happen i want every devil to know that the plan of god for my life will come to pass it will be fulfilled so i'm joyful i'm not sort of i'm not carrying a long face i'm not depressed i'm not down i'm not discouraged can i hear you amen i have the promise of god it says the next verse says whom having not seen you love in whom do now you see the promise not yet you are rejoicing with joy, you are believing and rejoicing. Believe in me, you are expecting yes. and you are rejoicing with joy unspeakable. You see, all the promise of God, it's not hypo. It's not hype. Like when we come to church, we say, you're going to be healed. It's not, it's not a hype. If you believe you're going to be healed, you're going to see the promise. When God says you're going to be successful and wealthy, you're going to be, you're going to be successful. I believe God that the promise of God for my life is going to come to pass. And I'm going to see a whole lot of them come to pass. Can I hear an amen? amen? Yeah. Many years ago when we, when we came to Georgia, God said to me, he said, I will bring your children to you. I never really one day feel sorrowful that my children will never come to me. Even though in the natural, it was not possible. I never one day, it never crossed my mind. I never one day sat down that it, 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 was, it wasn't going to happen. Because God cannot lie. Say the promise is to me and to my children. So I stay joyful. If you look at me, in fact, I never raised a prayer point. There's no need to be praying. You know what? Sometimes when we begin to when we begin to say, Lord, confirm your word, it's like we're saying, God, are you it's like you're a liar, we're not sure. You know, some kind of prayer people pray in the church. I don't know where I don't know the kind of faith they're exacting, you know. You know, Lord, do confirm your word. Do as you have said. Yeah, just wasting your time. God's word. He said, my word will not return to me void. It will accomplish what I please. It will prosper. It will come to pass. Amen. 
Hello, somebody. Yeah, you know, some people, oh, one time some people call my wife and say, before our children came, they call my wife and say, you don't care about your children. And I came out, my wife was a little bit down. I said, please, forget about those people. Enjoy your life. Your children are going to come. <laughs> are they the one that gave you the children? What's their problem? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But you see, it came to pass. Yeah. And I believe that everything, you see, our church is going to explode. You see, uh, we're going to, by the grace of God, we're going, to, we're going to do many big, we're already doing big things. We're going to still do many big things. Yeah, you see that, but you, we have to stay joyful in it. Yeah, we have to stay joyful in it. As we go on, do you understand what I'm saying? Why should we stay joyful? Because the promise of God will surely come to pass. That's the prophetic word. I love our joy is in his promise, yeah. his word. The promise is the word. Jeremiah 15 verse 16, it says, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word became to me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. So to maintain your joy, eat the word. Don't just read the word. Eat it. Hello, somebody. Amen. You eat the word by chewing the word in your mouth every time. Like an old cow. You know, <laughs> you chew it always in your mouth. What is the thing? You know, if it's, if it's a word of healing, you can say, the Lord is my healer. Yeah. By his stripes, I am healed. You are chewing the word in your mind, in your spirit. You are feasting on it. It will become the joy of the joy and the rejoicing of your heart. But if you keep chewing the doctor's report, <laughs> you're gonna be sorrowful, depressed, and discouraged. Yeah. If you keep also chewing, you know, uh, you're, maybe you're broke. You're looking at your bank account. Don't look at your bank account. Look at it that my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all my needs. You just, you know, you chew that word. In Psalm 119 verse 162, it said, I rejoice at your word as one who has found great spoil. I rejoice at your word. You see, some people get the word of God and they are still looking for something else. <laughs> you know, a, a pastor called me one time and said, Bishop, I want to ask you something. I said, please go ahead. He said, you are always excited about the word. Like nothing, everything is the word, the word. I said, what is, what next? Apart from the word, what else do you? <laughs> what, else, what, else, what else is there? The word is God. The word is spirit. <laughs> the word is life. The word is hope. The word becomes so I rejoice at your word as one who has found grace. Yeah. Look at the, the NLT says, as rejoice at your at your word as one who has found a great treasure. Mm. Someone say treasure. Yeah. When you go for treasure hunt, yeah. when you have found a great treasure, you you know that that treasure is what you can't even tell what it. You know, once you found it, say this is a treasure. Ah. Inside that treasure, there is healing, there is uh, money, there is prosperity, there is wife, there is home. Inside, inside treasure, there is health, health insurance, and it's everything you need inside the treasure. Yeah, the word of God. So you rejoice at the word. Hallelujah. So even when your faith is tried and you face challenges concerning the promises of your development, you know that it may be delayed, but the fulfillment will come to pass. Yes. You are not down, you are not discouraged. Can I hear your amen? Yes. It's going to happen. There's an appointed time for every promise to come to pass. If it has not happened yet, it, might, it means God might have a better way yes. than he wants to do it. More spectacular than the way you are thinking. Or God is arranging the uh, other pieces of the puzzle to make it happen. Hello, somebody. Or maybe it's not even yet time. <laughs> you have to trust in his timing. Some things you want to happen right now, 
might not be the time for it. The scripture says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, are you watching this? It said the vision is for an appointed time. <laughs> and it has an appointed time. Every promise of God has an appointed time. You see, most times people, when we, want, when we pray about our dreams or about our desire, we want it now, we want everything now. You know, we want it now. We want it here. God has his own time. Hallelujah. In fact, Jesus said, it is not for you to know the time or the season that the, power, the Father has put in his own power. That's what makes him powerful. You have to just trust his time. Yes. I love what the psalmist said, my times are in your hand. Mm -hmm. So I, I trust that your timing is perfect. You make everything beautiful in your own time. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose. So if it has not happened, I said the vision is for an appointed time. He said, but at the end, it will speak. It will come to pass. It will happen. So I say it will happen. And it says, do what? It tarry. Wait for it. It will surely come. <laughs> Someone say it will surely come. It will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah. Do you have the living Bible? Let's look at something very interesting here. Look at the living Bible here. This might give us another revelation here. So you stay joyful because you say it's going to happen. That's why I say stay joyful while God is working. You know, many of us, many people, not us here, <laughs> many people, you know, while God is working, they are sad, they are discouraged. Most of the things you worried about, if you even look at your life, that you thought you are discouraged, you couldn't sleep, you will have, you, when it finally happened, I say, you know what, I should have just slept. <laughs> I should have just enjoyed my life because <laughs> God still did it. So, <laughs> it still made it happen. So, the next things that you are waiting for, just relax. God's going to make it happen for you. Amen. God is still on the throne. I say God is still on the throne and he's still in control. He says what? But these things I plan won't happen right away. Some of the things God planned for us might not happen right away. He didn't say it's not going to happen. But it might not happen right away. He says slowly, steadily, <laughs> surely, the time approaches. You see that? He said what? Slowly, steadily, surely. Ah, but you see, Man, don't want slowly. Yeah. Want it now. Want, if, but you have a whole life. Some of the things you're trying to get right now. You know, what's going to be the excitement if you, all your dreams come to pass right now? What are you going to be living for? <laughs> so, keep moving. Hello, somebody. Oh, you know, you're hearing what God is saying. Are you reading the Bible? Uh -huh. You see, I know that we say faith is now the substance of things. So for this, yeah, okay, yeah, some things will happen now, but some things will still not happen now. I, I, I'm sorry to disappoint you. God say, even though you want it now, it didn't say it's not going to happen, but it's going to happen slowly. Yeah, I was talking about my children's testimony. It took seven years for them to come. Seven, seven years, but they came. Hello, somebody. Seven years. Yeah, it didn't happen right away. Some people, like my wife, wanted it to happen immediately. But it didn't happen. So I said, hey, relax. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is in control. He has the time in his sense. So you stay joyful while God is working. Someone say, I'll be joyful while God is working. I will sit together. I look, I look at this scripture. here, very powerful. It says, but the things or some things I, I plan won't happen right away. Slowly, steadily, surely, the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. If it seems slow, don't despair. Don't be discouraged. <laughs> don't despair. Don't be down. For these things will surely come to pass. Just be patient. <laughs> They will not be overdue a single day. At the right time, the right moment, it will not be overdue. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so, for the person who is anxious, eager, God says, 
be patient. It might not happen immediately. So you must learn to trust God's timing and be joyful. Hallelujah. Keep a right attitude and have you know the attitude of joy and have expectation knowing that it is on the way. Hallelujah. Someone says on the way. Yeah. Maybe your health is not improving and developing as fast as you want it. Or your promotion is not materializing fast enough. Or maybe the person of your dream is not showing up. You have been waiting. You want to come out of debt and you find out that, man, you know, the debt is, is, is weighing you down. The time you projected is not working. Are you going to be discouraged or are you going to keep a good attitude? Keep a good attitude of expectation. Be joyful. That a good attitude is a good is an attitude of joy. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody say it is work. It, it, it is it, it is happening for me. Yeah. Don't say, oh, it's not working. Then you become discouraged and you give up. No. God wants us to maintain joy in that season. The trial of your faith. Hallelujah. It's a womb having not seen. That scripture we read in First Peter. Womb having not seen. You love. In womb though now you see him not. Yet what? Believing. You rejoice in joy unspeakable. Full of glory. You are expecting the glory of God to be seen. Hallelujah. Are you watching this? And Jesus is our... Uh, perfect example in this revelation look at Hebrews chapter number 12 if somebody's joy is being stimulated yes, yeah look at Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 to 3 here it says this is very powerful it says wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with a great with so great a cloud of witness let us lay aside every weight and sin which does easily beset us. Let us run with what? Patience. Somebody say patience. patience. This race is run with what? Patience. The race of life. Life is a race. You run it with what? Patience. Yeah. Run with patience. <laughs> Can you give me another NIV? I want to, I, I, I would love for us to see different translation before we go ahead. I want you to see different translation of that word. Patience. This one says what? Let us run with what? Perseverance. Someone said run with perseverance because uh -huh. you are persevering through it. Yeah. You know, Perseverance, all the, you know, that's a stimulant for joy. You, you can't persevere without joy. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Or you can persevere without joy, but it, you'll be discouraged. But you, in fact, you will not have any. That's what people have said. They have depression. Because it's the time for persevering. But now they are not persevering with joy. So they become depressed discourage and most times they give up forget about it don't give up on your dreams Amen. give me the NLT let's look at it it says what did he say there endurance someone say endurance endurance. Uh -huh. endurance endurance hallelujah if you schooled in Africa in a certain country which name begins with, and when you finish your college, you're going, you're going to go to serve your nation. They're going to give you military training. One of the important things that is necessary in military training is endurance. The, the, the reason why many people are not even in the military is because they can't endure. You can't endure, <laughs> can't endure pain. Uh -huh. You can't endure test. You know, you can't endure many things. But life requires what? Endurance. Yeah. Endurance. And endurance is stimulated by joy. One of the key ways you can endure anything is when you are joyful. Joy is the secret to endurance. Anything, anytime, most people will overcome uh, difficult challenges. They 
and we're going to look at Jesus in a minute, the secret, the uh, stimulation for endurance is joy. If you can be joyful, you know, you can endure anything. And the secret to be joyful is to focus on the end result, what you're going to gain from it. Some people focus on what they are going through. When you focus on the pain and the challenges, you can quit. But for instance now, if we say, if we can run from here to, let's say, which, which city is close by here now? The next, uh, yes. Canton. And we're going to have a million dollars waiting for you. <laughs> I'm sure you might make it. <laughs> yeah, I would say, you know, we didn't say run fast, just run from there. Uh, once you think, even when, whatever the reason is, ah! <laughs> A million dollars is waiting for me. Uh -huh. So if you believe, if you want your dream bad enough, you can endure anything to get it. Can I hear your amen? Yeah, so it's very important you learn and your, the passion, please. Are you watching something? Look at the passion. You see, we are Christians. These are the things that help us through life. We understand how things happen. Maybe you are, you are sick in your body. You are feeling the pain. But God has promised you you are going to be healed. So you are not going to be seeing death. You are seeing your healing that very shortly from now, you're going to be healed. Hello, somebody. You're going to do those cut work again. <laughs> You're going to be able to eat those food again. So you say, ah, it's just God, God, healing is coming. And the healing, when God speaks, the healing is already working. Then you can endure the pain for a while. You know? There's, in fact, the, the, the medical science have it that those who uh, will recover from any sickness faster are those who go through it with the hope of. Uh, and joy of being restored. Yeah. He said the uh, broken spirit dry up the bones. Yeah. But the merry heart do it good like medicine. People who are joyful. Medicine work for people who are joyful. Some people say, even if they're giving me this thing, it's not going to work. It's painful. You know, they easily don't get recovered. Yeah. But those who, be, who, who are joyful and say, okay, just Get in the play. Let it go. Let's roll. Just keep at it. <laughs> Let's let it happen as quick as possible. Let's just go on. <laughs> Let's let this thing pass. They recover, and you're going to recover in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look at here. Look at the passion. I love this. It says, "Are we together?" Okay. I will read mine. And since I yeah, since we are passion. As for us, we have all these great witnesses who encircle us like clouds. So we must let go of every wound that has pierced us and the sin we so easily fall into. Then we will be able to run life's marathon race. Life is what? A marathon. It's not 100 meters dash. It's a marathon. With what? Passion and determination for the path that has been already been what marked out before us so we run with what passion and determination those two words also they are uh, stimulated by joy passion passion a, a joyful person is someone that is passionate yeah joyless people are passionless people yeah so joy stimulate passion and determination Hello, somebody. Then the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Go back to King James now. Who for the joy that was set before you? See, you see, Jesus didn't see the cross. He passed through the cross. Jesus was not focused on the cross. Jesus was focused. He just like, you know what he told uh, uh, Judas? Please get on the program. Whatever you're going to do, do it quickly. Let's just get on with this program. <laughs> let's get on with it and let's finish it fast. Because he was focused on the joy that was set before him. Hallelujah. Who for the joy that was set before him. He didn't see the cross. Hallelujah. You might be fixated on the cross. <laughs> 
Jesus passed through the cross. The right hand of the Father was his aim. Yes. Hello, somebody. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endure for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. He despised the shame. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Yeah, he was, looking, was just looking at that throne. So he was able to endure the cross. The joy that was set before him. So if you want to experience the positive development plan of God, we must focus on the joy of achieving our dreams. Fulfilling our desires. Hello, somebody. Reaching the fullness of our destiny. Yes. The joy that was set before you. Focus on the joy. There is hope in your future. Amen. There's greatness ahead of you. So focus on the joy. Hallelujah. Someone say, my focus, my focus. is on the joy. The joy. Hallelujah. Amen. There's joy in your future. Better days are ahead of you. Amen. The best is yet to come. Amen. Someone say, the best is yet to come. This is not how the story ends. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's going to be glory after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the secret to enduring. Focus on the joy. Look at a scripture here. I love this scripture. Jeremiah 31 verse 16 to 17. Anybody getting blessed? All right. We are pressing. <laughs> it says... Jeremiah 31, verse 16 to 17. The New Living Translation. We can look at it. It said, Thus said the Lord, what? Refrain thy voice from weeping. Oh, okay. But now the Lord says, Don't, what? Weep any longer, for I will reward you. I will reward you. I will bless you. I will prosper you. Your children will come back to that means your dream, your children, your the things you're going to bath, they will come from the distant land, wherever they are, wherever they are. Your breakthrough is coming. I say your miracle will come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will come. Somebody said they will come. Yeah. So then the next verse say what? There is hope for your future. Yes. Say yes, the Lord. Your children will come to their own land. That means your desires will be fulfilled. Yes. You will going to bat greatness. Yes. There is hope for your future. Yes. So I say there is hope in my future. In my future. Yeah. So you endure. You 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 are joyful. It's just like women who give birth. A woman, when she's going to give birth, the pain she goes through is excruciating. Hallelujah. She feels the pain. <laughs> she endures the pain. Then, finally, she gives birth. Why was she able to go through that? The Bible says because of the joy of carrying that baby. She can go through the pain because of the joy of carrying the baby. Hello, somebody. Even Jesus said it in John 16, 20. He says, or look at living Bible here. He said, the world will greatly rejoice over what is going to happen to me. And you will weep, but you will weep. Your, your weeping shall suddenly be turned to wonderful joy when you see me again. It will be the same joy as of that of a woman in labor. When a child is born, her anguish gives place to rapturous joy, and the pain is what? Forgotten. So the pain is nothing compared to the joy, I mean the blessing of carrying the baby. So we have to focus. Focus on the joy that is ahead. There is hope for your future. There is development. There is breakthrough. So stay joyful. Hello, somebody. Yeah. 
Don't be fixated on your disappointments. Yeah. Don't keep looking at what is not working out. Focus. Don't focus on your heart and the pains you are going through right now. Don't focus on the unfair thing that may has happened to you. You know. Don't keep wor keep worrying about the setbacks. Oh, if this has happened. Oh, if I'd happened there. No. Don't allow, you know, even the current, you know, uh, obstacles or difficulties, don't allow that to stop you. Focus on the joy of fulfilling your dreams. Focus on your dreams when it comes to pass. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. When my desires are granted, when my expectation is met, my God. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. <laughs> that's what you should. We. Up, that's what will keep you joyful. <laughs> Hallelujah. We close with this uh, this morning. I thought we'd be able to go further than that, but we, we're grateful for where we've got into. Look at Hebrews chapter twelve, the message translation. I'm going to stop there and take off from there again the next time. Are you happy? Yes, sir. Look at the. Hebrews 12, 1 to 3, message. Do you see what this means? All these pioneers who blaze the way. All these veterans cheering you on. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. Okay, can, you can say it. Okay. It means we'd better get on with it. Get on. Someone say, get on with it. Get on with the program. <laughs> yeah. Keep believing. Keep expecting. Keep joyful like it's going to happen. Talk like it's going to happen. Act like it's going to happen. Believe it's going to happen. Expect it to happen. Strip down. Start running and never quit. You see that? Say, start what? Running the race and never quit. Don't, so there's no option for quitting. So, yeah. You see, God brought us here. The reason God created us is to make us a praise to the world. And God didn't create you for nothing. Yeah. And this, wherever you are now, is not the ultimate of God's purpose for your creation. Don't allow your circumstances to trick you or fool you or make you to you know, give up on God. The best of God's plan has not been seen. Many people even have, could have died and never see the fulfillment of God for their life because they didn't believe what God can do. They say, Abraham, look for the city which maker and builder is the Lord. You're looking for what God can do, the ultimate plan of God for my life, the fullness of your destiny. The accomplishment of your dream. All the things that God put in your heart, God can, wants to do it. If it occurs to you, if it comes to your heart, it's because God, good things of life. God wants us to have it. So don't quit. He said, no extra spiritual fat, no parasite, parasitic, parasitic sins. Parasitic. Parasitic sins. Parasitic sins. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Who both began and finished this race we are in. Study how he did it. Because he never lost sight of where he was headed. Yes, sir. That exhilarating finish. In and with God. You see that? He never lost sight. That's why we say who for the joy that was set before him. He could put up with anything along the way. Cross, shame, whatever. His <laughs> sight was on something. And now he's there. <laughs> you will get there. <laughs> I say you will get there in the name of Jesus Christ. You will get to the fullness of your destiny. You will become everything that God wants you to say. So keep looking at him. Hello, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Study how he did it. That's what we're doing now. How he did it. <laughs> how he did it. And he wants us to be able to do it. 
Now he's there. Somebody say, now you're going to get there. He's there in the place of honor. Right alongside God. <laughs> so when you find yourself flagging in your faith, go over the story again. Item by item. <laughs> That long litany of hostility he plowed through. That will shoot adrenaline into your soul. It will bring adrenaline. That, that adrenaline is the joy, the excitement, the passion, the desire. Yeah. It will surge in your spirit again. Say, oh, let me get on the program. Can I hear your amen? amen? Your deaths are going to be canceled. Amen. Your dreams are going to be realized. Amen. Your goals are going to be fulfilled. Amen. Your expectations will be exceeded in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your body is going to be healed. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to enter, in, you're going to live in your dream home. Amen. Yeah, you're going to buy your dream car. Amen. You see, Jesus was looking at the right hand of the Father, but God wants us to enjoy blessings on earth. God didn't bring us to the earth just to take us back to heaven. I hope you understand that. Yes. Yeah, because a whole lot of people think that God just sent us on the hour here just to go to heaven. No, 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 no. God said, let them have dominion on the earth. Let them enjoy life. Amen. I have come that they might have and enjoy life to the full. Hallelujah. Yeah, enjoy life. And you're going to enjoy, if you have endured life, you're still going to enjoy it. So don't just go through endurance. Get to the, post, the part where the enjoyment, the enjoyment is about to start. So make sure you, you get to the part of enjoyment. Uh -huh. And stay joyful while you are on it. And enjoy every day. God is in control. Enjoy. And some people say, oh, when my dream come, my dream come to pass, I'm going to enjoy. When I have my needs met, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to enjoy. When I get married, I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to... You have missed some part. You have missed some portion. You are supposed to enjoy every day. Hello, somebody. Yeah, enjoy even the cross. Jesus experienced the cross. He carried the cross. He could have finished halfway. He said, no, he finished it. He went through it. He said, the, the cup my father gave me to drink. Shouldn't I drink it, it to the dregs? You go through the process and enjoy it. Some things you are enjoying right now, you might not have opportunity to enjoy it. One, I remember many years ago when I was in another country. Where I, where <laughs> the currency of that country, I used to say, a time will come when I'll be spending dollars. I was in that country. I said, I'll, I'll be spending dollars. I didn't have passport. Never travel, but I knew that look, dollar is the ultimate currency. Why would I not be spending dollars? And I said, I'm going to be spending dollars. I was taking, I was telling the church then, you know, telling them back then, they look at me. One brother even told me, he said, when I said that, he said, he winked his nose and said, when he came to America, he saw me say, he said he remembered the day. He came and testified, he remembered the day when I said, I'll be spending dollars. He said he winked his nose because he looked at my shoe. <laughs> it doesn't look like a shoe that can go anywhere where dollar is. <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> The, that, the currency then, I can't, I don't even, I, I, I don't have it. No, it's dollars. You see, but then it was like, it was like impossible. A time will come, now when you're going to be debt free. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. When you're going to be living in millions, you're going to be rich. I prophesy over everyone here in the sound of my voice. You're going to be rich in the name of Jesus Christ. The elderly one, the Bible says, God bless the letter end of Job more than his beginning. So your blessing is just beginning right now. Yeah. God began to bless Abraham at 75 towards 80. That's when he began. So everyone, you, everyone elderly, you see young. Don't just begin to say you're No. Expect, have some dollars. Yeah. God might give you an idea that can become a million dollars idea. Hallelujah. So, 
that's the, that's the truth, and that's what God will do. But you got to be believing it so you can pull, you need to pull joy. So that I can say, Lord, <laughs> every blessing you have for me right now, I want you to begin to come into my life. I'm not just here, just marking time. Hallelujah. Yeah. Turn my obstacles to stepping stones. Is somebody praying? Turn my obstacles, oh God, to stepping stones. Turn my situation around. Open those bigger doors for me. Take me places I've never been. Lord, do something new in my life. Take me to a new level of influence. I want to experience greater accomplishments. Pray. Kadabaya. Kabadabaya. One of the ways and one of the ways we, we, we get into joy is through prayer. He said, even then will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. As you are praying, your joy will be full. Uh, your joy will be stimulated in your spirit. A new, a new sense of joy will come upon you. Open up your mouth, pray right now. Makabaduba shakataba. We are talking to God. Kilama zekete kete Oh yes, ask for bigger things. Ask for more joy. Say, Lord, I want to be filled with joy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this my season, I want, oh God, this, I want to finish strong. Lord, I want to see breakthroughs. I want favor to locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Miracles can still happen. The blessings of God can still happen. Mazumba kambende bede 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 Mazamba bede 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 The wealth of the wicked I'm hearing in my spirit God said the wealth of the wicked Is laid in store for the just Somebody will find you and say Look I have saved some money I want us to enjoy together <laughs> Come and help me enjoy You're going to find yourself young again Strong again Excited again A miracle is about to happen Ah, favor doors are about to open in the name of Jesus Christ. New dimension, next level in the name of Jesus. Opportunities are about to come your way. Ye can bend the ideas are about to surge into your spirit. Tend to talk to God. Makuda bayana tiyama zegedegede. Edu mene kalama seketeketekete. Pray. Lambrandos kobeli ba 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 ba. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for greater confidence. I thank you, O oh God, for greater confidence. I thank you for more joy. Thank you, O oh God. Maziba do shokotokorogo. Bigger doors. New dimension. New level of influence. O oh God, I thank you for blessing. Breakthrough is coming. Healing is coming. Help is coming. Promotion is on the way to you. Talk to God. Makura Basekete. He has brought you to this hour of joy. He said, I have brought you to the house of prayer. Kabale bede 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 bede. Lord, do the supernatural in all our lives. We thank you for positive development. We thank you that, Lord, oh God, the wealth of your people will grow. Lord, we thank you, oh God, the influence of your people will expand. Doors will open in the name of Jesus. They will work miracles. I thank you for healings. Healings. Oh God, thank you for your healing power. We give you praise. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. God is healing your body. Draw healing right now. Say, Lord, thank you. You are the Lord, my healer. In the name of Jesus. He said, my youth shall be renewed like that of the eagle. Makure there is hope for your future thank you father we give you praise we make a miracle worker thank you for filling us with joy we bless your holy name thank you for your prophetic word we war a good warfare with them we thank you for open doors thank you for promotion thank you for ideas creativity lord oh god thank you the person oh god the helpers the friends the person the connection we thank you for oh god linking people up in the name of jesus christ thank you father in the name of jesus thank you father 
in the name of Jesus Christ. For the you know, for those who are elderly and meet, I just feel keep hearing and seeing in my spirit that God's gonna bring some friends that you know have a lot of breakthroughs and you know blessings into your life that will help you. God's are gonna connect you, they're gonna say, Come on, let us enjoy life together. Don't don't say no, I, I can't enjoy. Please, God say enjoy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> glory be to God yeah some cars are coming out now that you don't need a driver you just sit in and say just press the button and I'll be taking you places <laughs> you don't have to drive say I can't drive no they say sit down where you want to go just drive us around the town hallelujah glory be to God amen it's going to happen I say it's going to happen in the name of Jesus hallelujah and for the younger ones you're going to see god going to give you new visions new dreams in the name of jesus christ believe god for bigger things it's going to happen practically hallelujah the prophecy you believe is the prophecy that will manifest for you in the name of jesus christ